Coach Mangini, who just loves <laughs> early Super Bowl talk, joins us. But That's going to be Draymond's <laughs> legacy, by the way. What? That, that content. That's a weekly podcast, the podcast he's going to do every Monday. We didn't even put his Daniel Jones and, and stuff the, in. I mean, and it's, it's an like hour Jones. long. He, it's he going to be Daniel just Jones. a gold It's like a book. nightmare. Oh, God, okay. it's crazy. No, react, just give you general reaction. Oh, listen, uh, at least he waited for a game to be played. He's not hanging Super Bowl banners in the preseason, waiting for a game to be played. Sure. But I really do think Brew should be able to give his thoughts on this because I think Brew's going to take maybe a premature victory lap, but a victory no. lap all the same. No. I, why? <laughs> why, Micah? One game? On, We're up, one game in. You're upset about this? <laughs> yes, why? I, was, I didn't think. This is the problem with the Cowboys. Wait, but They don't know how to just take it one game at a time and put in that work. Because they don't. He has to, yeah, I, you look great last weekend, but let it play Bro, you, you know you're good. SBOB. Yeah. No, he is I, I was just stating a fact. Oh, so is he. I was just stating. He is a, agreeing no, with I you. I was saying this is what they have to do. He needs to say, look, obviously, ultimate goal, like everybody, win the Super Bowl, but. We are taking it one game at a time that's right a now. We're only podcast. focused on the Jets. That's a terrible That's how he's – no, that's what he uh, – Bro, <laughs> hey, I like what, it. I like right, where you're going with this. This is – look. Yeah. Maybe he is Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali. Maybe. But more often than not, when you talk that trash prematurely, it doesn't work out. He's not – Dusty he talk, oh. the clip. Drop the banner. Oh, uh, we're we never a doubt. Oh. 20 and oh. Oh. Drop yet. the banner. What the hell? Bro. It's a strong take, Drop bro. The, bro, did you see a loss? Yeah. Where? Where, where was the loss? <laughs> when you talk too soon, <laughs> there's never a doubt okay. that it'll go wrong. Bro. Micah's I'm talking. Just Micah just play. And I like Can Micah. I, just, I say this with pain yeah, in my heart. That's uh-huh. true. I like Can Micah. Can I ask you a question? Who's he trash talking? No, no it's, there's nobody. LeBron not, wasn't trash talking anybody either, but he went out too early. Uh, 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 Kelsey wasn't trash talking. It was like, we got a swag and back. Oh. <laughs> and then Cincinnati, what's this? Cincinnati took it to him. That in Arrowhead. Don't, three months don't after leave that. Them out. Don't right? leave them and out. Right? And then you, okay, I mean, I'm not you like, leave them out. you didn't even wait one I'm game. Not like, at least Micah guys. made it one game. I, but hold on, let me, let me, let me put a bow on this. Okay, okay, because it's not his. just Micah. Coach, this is why he's doing it. Because there's a culture in Dallas. The owner, Jerry Jones, at, at least Jerry didn't say, hey, Start buying tickets to the parade, folks. I I thought he might say that today. But here's what Jerry came out and said. Dak Prescott, according to Jerry Jones, is the greatest leader in the history of football. Right? He's the best leader that I've ever seen at that position. What is he talking about? Does he remember Roger Staubach? Troy Aikman, even. At least he mentioned Troy Aikman. But how about a guy named Tom Brady? I mean, all, he's only talking one about game, cowboy and he didn't even, there. Well, is he? Aikman, Tony, Dak. Is he? he did, yeah. He did say at the position. At he the, said I, at the position. I wasn't and sure again, either what Roger talking Stahlbach about. Roger is okay, a guy He wasn't the owner when Stahlbach was the quarterback. You know, uh, look at you putting all these qualifiers that Jerry didn't put. About. Jerry didn't say any of that. Okay. Jerry said best I've ever seen at what? the position. All right. I'm just taking a man at his word. They talk too much. They run their mouth. They're a silly team. Wow, that's what They're a silly team. <laughs> I'm just. Do you have a problem Chris, with this, Coach? I, I really am enjoying Chris. Thank you, I Coach. Really think coach Chris, knows I'm dropping Chris is the just gospel. dropping knowledge on Thank the you. set like, like it's going okay, on. Okay, does it have any impact, though? I don't. Look, Micah loves uh, Mike. Like, he, he really enjoys talking about all different topics. Yeah. And when you're on the radio or you do a podcast, you're on TV, whatever, you're eventually going to comment on a bunch of stuff that you can't bring back in, you can't reel back in. But you're right. You just got to focus on the task at hand. I think before the San Francisco game last year, he talked. He had he had big comments there too, and they lost that game. And and after the first game of the season, there's so much uncertainty going into that game. We got blown out by Buffalo, thirty to nothing, uh, one year. And and some commentators are saying with Bill had lost the locker room. We were all done. All those things. We win the Super Bowl. And it, it, it happens. He, things happen the first week, and some of them are just straight anomalies. They, they, they're not consistent with who you are. And then to go out and make these, these grandiose statements, there's just no reason right. to do it. Okay, so let me, let me give a counterpoint here. Mm-hmm. This is, I did not, and I don't think you at the time, 
had a problem with what Travis Kelsey said. And the idea that we are attributing a Travis Kelsey post-game quote in November to a playoff loss months later is, to me, an absurdity. The idea, like, the, the Chiefs were at the time, and I'll bring it to this, were being left for dead by a lot of people because the offense, yeah, three four, and four, and then he was like, and then from that moment forward, they went on a great run, got had home field, got to the AFC title game, and lost. I don't think those two things are related. Where I do see a relation to that in this is there are certain guys that – not only are they not in the Dylan Brooks category, they're not even in the all-star category. They're in Kelsey's case, all-time great category. And, LeBron. and Micah's case, hold on. Well, but LeBron, it would have been fine if he said we're going to win the championship. His problem was he said we're going to win seven titles. That is too far. If Micah was said, guys. <laughs> yeah, once you get to seven titles, no, that's too no, far. But I said, that's no, where no, I draw the line. No, no but I, th- those are different levels. Hold on. Micah, do we all agree they Micah might be the, the best? Hold on. Here, by the do way, we all Miami. agree Micah might be the best defensive player in the league? Yes. Do we all yeah. agree that the Cowboys can win the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yes. Do some people at this table believe anything short of making the Super Bowl is a, quote, bust, unquote? Yes. Okay. So why is Micah Parsons saying what everyone believes, which is if we keep this up, we're going to the Super Bowl. If we a keep problem. this up over the next 17 weeks That's and through the playoffs, it's like predicting a marathon at mile one. Like, uh, okay, you're a little but bit But if out you're of the front. best runner I in the world, we're here talking, Nick. I, we, we're not in the same class as Micah well, Parsons. I don't know. I was, to, in the, I was, I was on the highlight reel, well. so I think I am. <laughs> I, the, he has to go out there and do he it. Only, he has to go out there listen, and face the guys he's talking about. We're just sitting here running our he, mouth. Here's what I would put, but he and that, here's what I would say, Wilds. What he is doing that I think actually is good for the Cowboys as a whole is he and Jerry are upping the pressure in a way where if this team falls short, if they have another second-round exit, I think there will be some level of significant change. And if this team falls short, there should be. Are they going to fire the GM he- head coach right, owner? Right. What well, not, well, the, well, no. The, the <laughs> owner's like, going to stay the same. Well, that, that's but whether or not the they the decide ones. to extend him, if this team Jack. falls on its face, they might not extend him. If this team falls on its face, the greatest they're, leader they're ever? not. I'm, t- I'm <laughs> right. telling you right How now. How do you not extend they, that guy? Because they, they won't feel that way. Oh, well, if hold they on. Here's the other thing, Nick. Uh, and I, look, they are a great team. They're a really good team. Yeah. But so is Philadelphia, and so is San Francisco. They're better than both of them. Yeah. They're better than both of them. Okay. I think they are. Hey, San Francisco was hey, arguably we, the we most impressive. We'll tell you everything. You no, need it wasn't. Right. Right. I mean, San Francisco last year lost to the to the Bears in Week One, but I guess that meant Trey a Lance, lot. tough player. Yeah, it's very wet. Yeah, uh, Super Bowl odds. My Chiefs still at number one, even though they lost. Philadelphia and San Francisco. What are we doing? Then the Bills. What are we doing? Who played horribly. And then the Cowboys. What are we doing? Are you surprised the Bills are ahead of the Cowboys? We also, I mean, I'm not surprised. The, the two year Vegas love affair continues. <laughs> it's kind of odd. They no, it's not bad. odd. They're, it's, it's as absurd as it was last year when they were ahead of everyone. They were the favorites. They, there's right now, I guess the question I would ask is this. Right now, does does Dallas do anything great, bro? Their defense. Yeah. Okay. Does Buffalo? No. No. Right. Yeah. no I, I, mean, I agree with about? you that they. I mean, should, they're, 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 the Buffalo's right in the now. Top of the... Did, is Kansas City want to know? No. Is San Francisco? Well, yeah. Did was San Francisco play great? Why aren't <laughs> yeah, they number man. one? Because why, why didn't Kansas City move back? They lost. Exactly. San Francisco blew That's out a right. team. So if we're going to follow that logic, why doesn't San Francisco because, have the best Because odds? there are certain teams in sports that have earned the benefit of the doubt. And this coach, thank you for proving my point exactly. We have you're, for you're two, welcome. We have for two years treated Buffalo like, well, they've earned the benefit of the doubt. When for two years they've just gotten worse each year. Mm. They have earned nothing. I, I, okay, I hear you. I, I do think Dallas should be ahead of them. But of using your logic, yeah. Dallas hasn't earned the benefit of the doubt. They don't need it. They won 40 to nothing. You're right. Dallas should it's not have it they, if they, they were terrible. They don't have anybody's benefit of the doubt. And <laughs> Buffalo has been better than Dallas okay. the last few this years. Is a, have they not? Hall of Mirrors. You better agree regular with me. Season. I know. I'm just saying me. using your logic. No. My, okay. That, I, they, that's why Buffalo's ahead of them. I, no. I, I mean, they don't have the benefit of the doubt that Kansas City has. But they do have some. I mean, they've. Look, for all of Josh Allen's problems. And he was the main problem, obviously, mm-hmm. le- yes, last week. For all of his interceptions and fumbles, he also leads the league in touchdowns since 2020. 
Yeah. I mean, so he makes up. He's like, I've called him last year, uh, Brett Favre. He's this generation's Brett Favre. He's reckless. He's going to make some mistakes, yeah. but he also is going to make up for him in a big way, and that's what the odds makers are looking at. Yeah, but uh, again, even calling this generation's Brett Favre, we don't have to say the same argument. We had one, like, I'll give you that. Well, He's Favre win. have won three MVPs, won two Super Bowls, won one. Josh Allen was uh, has been to two Pro Bowls. That's Hadn't the, accomplished the what Favre is, but mm. similar type. All right, we're going to take a make break. Make something happen quarterback. Yeah, yeah exactly. Time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.